Hi, and welcome back to another craft video. This is Megan, and I'm going to be showing you how to make these mini rainbow keychains. I will put some of the specific materials in the description below with links to them, and I will walk you through all of the steps. So hope you have fun crafting. Macrame cord or cotton cord yarn, which you don't need to use any specific colors, any three colors. You can even use any type of yarn, any width. Hot glue gun and glue sticks, masking tape and scissors, a ruler and some pliers, jump rings and a keychain. Lastly, you will need a piece of felt. Uh, you're just going to use this to shape the piece and glue it down. So you could, you're gonna cut out around it anyway, but this one is um, three and a quarter inches by three inches. To start off, you're gonna cut three pieces of the macrame cord. And uh, the first largest piece is going to be about uh, seven and a half to eight inches. And then the second will be around seven inches. And then the third will be about five and a half to six. So you're gonna start with the largest piece of macrame cord and just pick, you know, any color that you want to start with. You're gonna want to start about an inch down. Like you'll start um, winding the yarn on there. So you're gonna wanna use some masking tape to stick to mark about an inch down. So then that way you'll still have some extra space. And you're going to go under the yarn like that and you know up to the tape and then you're going to tie a little knot and that's going to be your starting point. So then you'll hold this extra tail down and start winding the yarn around itself. So you'll just keep going around the macrame cord with the yarn. And you can you can trim this a little bit so you don't have to, you know, keep doing that for so long. It's just you don't have to cut the tail because you can just cover it with the yarn. So you just go around. The yarn should be snug up to each other so that you don't see the cord. So you're gonna go all the way down till just about an inch or so is left. When you are ready to be done, you'll just snip off, you know, a few, give yourself a okay enough tail, and then you're just going to tie a knot around the end so that this will be secured into place. So I do that and then just actually knot it. Into place. And now with movie magic, I have all three completed. All right, so we're going to be putting the jump ring and keychain onto the largest one. You're going to want to use pliers. Um, I would suggest needle nose pliers or jewelry pliers. Um, these are the ones that I have access to right now. And you're gonna wanna open it up once you have it open enough and you can actually fit it onto there and I close it a little bit so I can then you take your keychain and stick it on there so it's hanging off and now you're gonna want to close this completely so you just do it until it's, you know, closed to the point that you want it. This is not ideal, but it's okay for now because you can also hide it 
when you glue it down. Get all of your pieces and your thing and we are going to start gluing with hot glue. You're going to snip the little tail as close as possible. And then we're actually going to use the hot glue to put a little dab of glue on there to hold it into place. I'm gonna put a little dab on each of these. You're gonna want to arrange your rainbow and I'm going to check that all of my ends are about the same distance. So that will be perfect. All right. So now we are going to glue the strand, the pieces to the felt. You really only want to glue the yarn pieces. So you only want to glue this portion, you don't want to glue the ends. So I'm gonna do that. So there is one. And you see I, I put this facing so the, the little jump ring edges are not going to be an issue. So now that we have everything glued down, you can actually take your scissors and get rid of excess felt. Brush these out a little bit and then you can also trim that because it may not be even. And so this is the rainbow keychain. Um, you can also, if you don't want to make it a keychain, you can make like a wall hanging. You can actually use something like um, you know, yarn or twine and glue it to the back and make a loop so it's not a keychain and it's it's more of like another type of hanging. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. And so I hope that this was helpful and I hope you have fun making your own mini rainbow keychain. Bye.